Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I am in my craft room at the moment and I am about to sew in the signatures for my two prayer journals that I have one for Colleen Easton and one for Marie Nowak. And I would like to show you how I sew in my three signatures into my spine of my book covers. This is a procedure that I seem to use a lot of the time and it can be adapted in many different ways. So I wanna share that with you. I, this prayer journal will be for writing. So there's not too many things and stuff like I normally have fabrics hanging out the side and I'm not gonna do the flip through now. I'll do it when it's all finished. So to show you how I do my spines, my journal of stitchery will be done similarly to this. And my journals, I'm involved in several swaps. I'm going to be doing something like this for my journals and I'll show you how I do this. So let's just start very quickly. And I like to start with a doily. This is just a sample. This, I don't know if this will be the right size, but this is a Battenberg piece of, uh, probably a placemat. And these are book covers. I just cut the book covers off the front and the back. And I, I wanna use these. It doesn't matter what size they are. This has nothing to do with measurements. It's just the process of how I do it. So I'm, I, I'm laying this like this. Then I have, this is a, almost like a heavy upholstery fabric. I got it from when we used to have the reuse center open here. It's open, but I haven't gone back since COVID. So it's a heavy, heavy linen is what, upholstery linen, I guess is what it is. It's neutral colors, because I like working with neutrals. So this is a nice, width because it, you have enough to hang over the side and you have enough for a wide spine. I'm not going to measure this because the measurement isn't important. It's just that you have a good a good amount for this in the center and a good amount to glue down. This is happens to be seven inches. So I like to have this piece on here. And I'm standardizing how I make my books. And when I make my books, this is going to be the, my how I make them from now on uh, for a while. And this is working with that needlepoint canvas. And then I sew it onto heavier watercolor paper and then I decorate it. So this spine, this is what I call my exposed spine. So I make, I line up my papers and I make my half, half my, my center line. So let's find the center line. That's the center line, line it up center, line it up center. If I was actually gonna glue this one, I would be cutting it the height of my spine, height of my book covers. Then This is placed down. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to pull this guy over. So what I did is I just took this whole piece to my sewing machine. I started at the top and I made one long sewing line. I moved my foot over so I had a little bit of space. I had three signatures so I, it's probably about a quarter of the way over that I did my line. Can you see my sewing line here? So what I did, I'm repeating myself. I took this whole bit to the sewing machine, made one long stitch sewing the Battenberg, this canvas fabric, this fab upholstery fabric here, and this cover together. So they're laid on top, just like this, and I made one long stitch. Moved my piece over, made a second long stitch and the second long stitch 
Here it's about half to three quarters of an inch, half to three quarters of an inch. It's a guide for my eye to sew in my signatures. So there's that. This linen piece, heavy upholstery fabric, I bolted it back. I applied heavy tacky glue, anything that works for you. I tend to use this because my husband does my errands for me. He buys this at Canadian Tire here in Canada, Weld Bond, but it's like a tacky glue. And I just applied glue, placed it down, and let it dry overnight. I did the same thing over here. So this attaches your inner spine to your covers. So I applied tacky glue. And I lifted it up to where the, 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 the paper, last paper would be. And I moved my cover over and then I dropped my fabric. And it's glued. So when it's all glued, this is what it looks like. your book cover, your three lines sewn on the other side, your book cover, which is glued to this upholstery fabric, and you have all, all three pieces sewn together, the doily, the upholstery fabric, and your inner, inner spine section, like this, glued sewn all three lines so now i can start sewing in my signatures do i want to have a three hole or a five hole is usually what i do i'm going to go for three hole it's easier and faster so i have to find the center from top to bottom and i need a pencil whatever your center is this is nine and a half inches so i'm going to move my ruler so it's ten so my brain can understand half of 10 is five. So five is right here. That's my halfway point is five. I only want to do my pamphlet stitch or a three hole pamphlet stitch in this on the canvas. So when I measure it, I'm going to move my ruler so it's approximately six inches. So half of the six is three. So then I'm just going to go an inch down from the top and an inch up from the bottom. And then I'm just going to, and I leave these pencil lines in because they're helpful for me to see. This honey colored thread is hard to see. So I'm making a, a cross where my needle will be going in. And the center stitch as well. You can see that's a little off, but I'm going to stick it in there anyway. Because it'll be seen on the outside. So I have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes marked. Now I'm running out of my waxed linen thread. It's actually more like a heavy string. You can't even tear it. So when I figure out how long I want, how much thread do I need? One piece for each signature I'm sewing in. So it only has to be, when you actually feed it through, it's only going to be this much doubled. But, or if I'm doing a three holds, okay, forget what I said. My brain is all screwed up, all the meds I'm on. So let's have... I like to have at least three lengths. So I'm taking my finger, so that's one length of my cover and I'm just it's actually maybe an inch longer than that oh you can't even see maybe you can so one length of my book cover two lengths I'm going to go three lengths of my book cover and then I'm going to cut and I want 
to, I have three signatures, so I'm just going to take three equal amounts. I got this one. I used to work at that scrapbook store, so there's no more, no more of this left after I'm out of it. I don't even know what it's actually called to reorder it. So I'm going to work with what I have and what I can get on hand. I don't, okay, so there's three strips of, of this stuff and I don't even have a label on here. So let's put that to the side and I have three long pieces. Let's get my glue out of the way and get my uh, other things out of the way. Okay. So I need to make, okay, so this is the third signature, and I'm just seeing from top to bottom, let's pat them so they're at the same length. So I can see it's approximately half inch or one centimeter. And from the top and okay I like to make a little call it making a little jig for myself whoa let's cut this piece of paper off make a jig for easy poking is what I like to say so let's fold it in half doesn't matter how long this thing is. So let's go with my pencil. Okay, so there's a mark here, mark there, and mark there. So my three hole marks. And I am gonna take my all and just poke holes. One. Two, three, and I'm going to double check it to make sure that, yes, that's where I want my holes to be. Let's see here, there's less writing on here, so let's just poke them this way. Okay, so each signature needs to be poked. I have to poke a hole in each of these. So... When I do signatures, it's because all my pages are irregular. They're all different, different lengths. So for me, it's easier for me if I say take say four or five sheets that I'm finished in my signature and I just run them through the sewing machine to hold them together. So it helps binding the book later. So let's... So my book is like this and I'm just finding this my center hole and I'm centering it on the paper. It just happens to be the, the height of this page, but that's just a fluke. So I'm just piercing one, two, and three. So this is going to be a slow process. So I, I mark the holes, make sure they're on my stitching line. And I'm going through some glued fabric tape. So it's a little sticky. So that's the first. Oh, wow. And you just twist it. It's this glued fabric tape that is really dense. Okay, so that's the first one, uh, the first couple of pages. I've, I've uh, sewn several pages together like this to make my life a lot easier. So then I find the center of this. I'm just eyeballing that and 
how this one goes in really e well easier. So one, and you see I've decided to just pierce all the way through here so I could make it faster. One, two, three, and let's position it upright. Let's take the next grouping. Take my little jig. And poke. I'm showing you the whole process because of sewing in the signatures. So you can fast forward it yourself by double double tapping if you have an iPad or an iPhone if you're watching this on YouTube. Okay, so there's this one. I'm just eyeballing it to make sure it's the same distance approximately. I have some signatures in upside down. Very easy to do. And center this. There's only a few pages here. One. I like to poke my holes in all of them first and then I like to sew them in, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I know I have an elastic for this, but for the love of God, I can't see it right now. So we'll get another one. And that one is, the holes are punched. So we do the exact same thing for all three signatures. So I start with my first groupings. centering it top to bottom and piercing holes oh boy more of that fabric <coughs> fabric tape which is a little difficult to whoa, pierce through I like using this paper piercer I have a a big bite. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Oh boy, that's hard to pierce. Okay, so that is the first one. Let's kind of move this aside. The second one. You see how this makes it easier rather than, to, rather than having to punch each page and because my pages are different widths I like to sew them together so this process is easier so I just punched four different pages rather than just one individual one because they're sewn together and again eyeball And you see how I left that hole in there, turned it so I can pierce the holes. Is it right side up? Next one. Whoa. Some are just easier to pierce than others. Make sure this is right side up. This one. One, two, and three. Is the second signature all pierced and now the last 
one, which is the third. Let's take the first one, center, top to bottom. Oh, we have that <coughs> glue tape. Wow, is that ever hard to pierce through? This makes for a long video but I just tend to learn by actually watching I get confused lately when it's fast forwarded so that's what I'm doing is just showing you the whole process of a thing that I'm doing and the thing that I'm doing this time is binding a signature okay make sure it's right side up Enter this template. Let's leave them in there while I turn it. Doesn't matter which holes you poke first as long because they should all be aligned. So yes, right side up, and this might be the last one, yes. Centering top to bottom. Oops. Oh. One, two, and three. Okay, so all three signatures are now pierced. And I start with the back. I don't know why, so the, we need the third signature. So that's the first, this is the second, and I'm just going to place them off to the side. And this jig is bright for me for some reason. And let's start with this third one, and it'll be sewn in at the back. But my, oh, I might need that to hold it. Okay, so let's take one of these pieces of waxed thread. This is a very large, very large eye of a needle. And I like my threads to be tied usually on the outside, a knot. But I think in this case, I'm going to be manipulating my fabric here. So I think I'm going to start on the inside. So let's start on the inside in the center. So it depends on what kind of look you want. If you want it tied on the outside or tied on the inside. I just said I'm going to tie it on the inside. So let's go with the center. Let's do the center. And... On each page, I'm going to go through the center. And I know the center, I'm going to come through twice with my needle. So I have it here with my needle, but I'm removing my needle. I'm taking my thicker shaft awl, and I'm piercing my hole so the rounded hole is larger okay wow and let's oh double checking because I can't see where my hole is because that paper 
Okay, I can't pierce it right now, so let's just continue. Sometimes just your holes close on you. So I want to start from the inside on my third signature. My needle's through. I'm going on this canvas, going underneath, and let's pierce holes for this first one. So one, two, and three. Can I see them? Yes, I might as well poke all of the holes. So let's, the second signature, the center. And the third. Careful, don't stab yourself or poke yourself with this awl because it's very sharp. So I'm going to put that to the side. And yes, you can <laughs> look at that. How come I went all wonky? We can fix that. Those will go back on itself later. I'm not even worried about that. So let's go with this because you didn't cut anything away you just move the fibers away so let's go from the center and go for this hole and I'm going to place it down and now let's find the end of this thread I'm going to pull it till it is just at the end of my book and let's, doesn't matter if you go through the bottom or the top, let's just, oh, I wanted to pierce my hole because it's turned upside down now. So pierce through this hole. It's just going through the cover, as you can see, and I'm gonna grab everything and flip it. Okay, so I need to pull that thread a little bit more. Let's find our third, our lower hole. And let's just make sure that we're going to go through the same hole that we've poked. You can see underneath I've got my my all going through, my all going through, and my all going through, and one more. So, oh boy. So we want them aligned, and you're going to pierce them. Again, because I have the glue tape in the center, it's sticking. So where is my needle? So I came up at the bottom. I'm going up through all those. Okay, so I want to hang on to my middle and just pull, pull my thread. I'm holding on to my thread, and is it tight? Yes, it is. It's right here. So I can let go. It's not going to go anywhere. And I want to... find my and I'm just double checking make sure that my hole is right yes it is on that sewing line because if you poke see how come it's not well, not on my sewing line, how come? It's a little lower. Okay, so I'm going to move it up. For some reason, it's a little old. Well, so I ripped it. Sometimes that happens. So you just take your top hole, and we're just feeding this on the awl. And one more. Hold all your book pages and find your needle. And we're going to go in that hole, which it did. 
And we're going to go in that marked X, which I did, which makes it nice. And we're going to press down. I just don't want to pull my thread out. So it's, I feel it nice and tight. And look, there's not enough thread. So I'm going to, I pulled it. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's tight. Okay, and <laughs> you might not have seen that. <laughs> My uh, large eye let go of the thing. Okay, so I came up and I went down. So I'm at the top of my book and I'm going to go down in the same hole as the first one. So my needle is here. And I can see my needle coming through the canvas. I can see it coming through each group of pages where I have a hole. Yes, you can see it. And I'm just feeding it on because I do not want to make a new hole or pierce my thread that I'm, this, this thread that's going through there that would cause you grief. So then the thread goes on one side of the line, on one side of this thread, and on the opposite side. It comes out on the opposite side. So you're, you'll be tying a knot around the thread. Okay, so I have excess thread here. So I'm going to take my needle off and... We're going to make sure that this is tight. It feels tight. I'm going to hold it at the spine. It looks nice and tight. And I'm going to tie, and you're sandwiching that one string with a knot. One, two, and I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut at the height of this page this little tiny page. Okay. So that's the first signature sewn in. I'm pressing it down. And you'll notice that my cover is about, a, about half an inch taller. Well, that's just the way it is. Uh, and it's a little bit wider, so if, if things and stuff were poking out, it'll protect it. I don't mind that. I just work with what I have. So I want to, that's why I kept this elastic, just because I want to kind of keep that out of the way. Let's go with our second signature. The second signature is going to go here. And let's get the second piece of thread and the needle and again we're going to start from the center okay so this is my piece of paper is moved down slightly so I can see this nice other page in the background but let's take this and just this is the large O, and we're just going to put each of the pages that I've sewn together on the O to make my hole a little bit bigger because the needle will be passing through this little point two times. Start with my needle going in the center of my signature. I'm going to pull it out for now and I'm going to go down the center where I've marked my little X here. Pull it through. And go, 
lots of thread there. Okay, now we're going to take our all again and find that upper piece. And you saw how I had to use my little jig because it's not always clear where your hole is because the paper folds back in on itself. I can feel that the hole is there. And I'm placing each of these sewed pages again back on my awl. So they land on top of one another. And pushing all the way through. Oh my gosh, that's tight because of my taped. Okay, I'm on the outside outside. I'm going to hold this. I went from the center to the outside. Center to the outside. And I'm going to go at the top in. Let go and I'm going to feel that it's in. And I've only gone through the spine and the canvas. I knew it was going to tangle here. Okay, so I'm going to flip this. Uh-oh, don't want to make sure that this doesn't come through, this thread. All right, so let's go. You see how easy my needle gets unthreaded, but that's because I have such a large eye and I like that. So let's put this back in. And I came in and I'm gonna go through each of these groupings, which are now a little bit askew. So I have to feed each one of them on. gets out of line so you have to make sure that you are piercing it in the right hole placing it on the right hole in here there we are so now I can push it all the way through pull it tight and let's turn our book and let's tighten this up so I'm holding the center and I'm gonna pull my so it feels like it's nice and snug. Feels nice and snug. Let's hold it tight and let's look. Nice and snug here. Make sure that there's no gaps. Here, there is no gaps. There are no gaps. Take this needle and we are going to see if I can just stick it through. Oh, I, there's resistance, so I'm going to use my awl before I put my needle through this. These sewing in groupings makes a big difference in helping you sew in your signature. glued fabric tape that I was using. So I'm going to pull my needle out and I'm going to stick it in. We're in the center signature where the, the X's are. Making sure I'm on my sewn line, which I am. So I'm going to push it through and pull, pull. Sometimes there's a knot in the center here, so that's why you always have to look. And here, so let's just pull it nice and snug nice and snug and let's flip it over and you're going to go in the same center hole and this is you have to go by feel so I'm going to turn the oh I want to be able to see it so let's go this way my other signature was in the way 
So pull down the first couple of pages and let's just make sure that each of these groupings is put on the needle without puncturing the paper in a different way or without puncturing that thread. And I can still see the silver, so that's good. And I'm feeling it with my fingers that I'm not piercing anything, so that's good. I'm not piercing the thread or more paper. You can see my little needle. Oh, see, I knew I, I, I pushed it through where it was not supposed to be. Okay, so this grouping is not through yet. Okay, so what do we have? You're feeling it. It's not going through. One, two. Okay, here we are. Let's push it down on the desk. And I want to come up on a different side. So this other loose thread, I'm just going to pull it over on the other side. So our string is in between so we can tie it. This is our second signature, and we need to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, I have a big loose gap here, and I don't like that. So let's see how we can fix this. Tight on the outside, tight in between, just loose in the center. So how come? So we lay it flat, and you just fiddle. There we go, because look, you can see I pierced my thread. That's what was giving me grief. Is it nice and tight? Yes, it is. So now we're going to tie one knot and two knots. And I'm going to grab them both and make them, I'm going to say two inches long. I may trim them off later, but that's just what I'm doing now. So that's the second signature that's sewn in. Pressing it down, and we're needing to do the third signature. Let's get our elastic to keep help keep this out of the way. Our third and final signature will be here. Let's off and find the center see I can't just stick it through because it's not stabbing in the right spot so let's push one on two three groupings Four groupings and oh, five groupings. Okay. Oh, great. Let's leave that in there because I haven't threaded my needle. And the last wax thread. And let's hold our pages in place. Insert our needle in the center. Pull it out. And Look for that little X that we have drawn. And I remember that my I want to go on my seam line. Sometimes if you, if your needle is anchored. Oh, there we are. See, I was out about a quarter of an inch, but we're going to wiggle it with our finger and those marks will go away. So push our thread because we want it on the sewing line that I have drawn on the Battenberg, first stitched on the Battenberg. So there's lots here, so let's pull. Okay. Turn it over. And make sure our end is here. Our top is going to be moved over to our Stitching line. And I'm just
just gonna grab the book and look, make sure I'm on my stitching line and making sure that it's coming on that little line that I've drawn. And now we can load in these signatures. So let's find the center. And let's go on the first grouping, second grouping, third. And it, so you see how I didn't use the all on this last one and it, oh gosh, I have to because my eye is so much wider than my shaft or my needle. So let's just go. Oh, come on. Oh, that's tough. Make a bigger hole, insert your needle and come out. So you see I, this one I went up instead of going down, it does not matter. So you're going to be going now across and down. And I want to have that all here again. So I'm looking for my pages, catching them on my all. two marks so we have to measure that's why you keep this oh it is the lower one okay there that's better and this one okay so let's find our needle oh great oh here it is our needle is a wool find that X on the fabric that we have done and that's our there and then we have to just go really close to that Battenberg you see how that Battenberg moved and why is it so far off okay I'm gonna take this out of here first Oh, I see, because the my sewing line was wonky. It is off, so let's just, you can see how it's off a little bit there, so let's just make him a little bit off. And straight. Okay, I don't seem to have a length, so I must be tangled somewhere. Straight. Straight, straight, I'm really loose. Okay, I'll just have to tighten it later. And we are going to go back in through that center. Center, make sure we don't pierce the thread or a different hole in our pieces. First grouping. Okay, I don't see it. My needle is gone astray. Okay, let's find our needle. I don't see it or feel it. Okay, here we are. So this, one, two, three. Okay, I see my needle. Whoops. We are. 
Oops, and you can see how I just caught that thread. So I'm just gonna get off of it. There I am. You don't wanna pierce your thread because then you won't be able to tighten your signature. And I caught another hair of that wax thread. It's very important that you don't catch it. Okay, make sure it goes through here. Go through the paper. Okay, and on the other side of the thread, so my lying thread is in the center, one end is on the left side of the thread, and one of the ends is on the other side. Now we have to tighten this because I know it's not tightened. So, feels tight now. Let's look at the inside, middle inside and outside looks good. And we're going to give it, and our thread is in between. And we're gonna tie it two times, so that's once twice. And again, I'm going to cut this off at about the two inch mark. Okay, we're at 51 minutes. <coughs> so let's have a look at this. Let's add our elastic band in here. So our signature Three signatures are sewn in. One, two, three. You see there's all sorts of flips and flops and signatures and flips and flops to my books because that's just what I like. That's the end page right there. Okay, so that's it, and you see how I have, Colleen and Marie have lots of room. You see how it squashes down here? Because there's going to be a lot of cards, prayer cards, writing down verses, different things that will get tucked in here. So now to finish this off, This is looking. I'm going to open it up at the center. I'm going to use one elastic to hold that side, one elastic to hold the second side, and now I'm going to open it up. And is this the top? Yes, it is. Okay. So now it's a matter of me manipulating the fabric and gluing it on the book. Once I manipulate the fabric, do any sewing I want to do here, it'll be glue. I'm going to put glue on here and let it sit overnight. So that's, I usually am not good on the fly, meaning designing in front of camera. But let's, I'm going to pin it and see what I do. So it's a matter of, I want this, do I want the lace to stick out or not? On my spine, it's just where the edge of this doily, am I, can you see, yes. The edge of this little doily has a ribbon strip, a Battenberg ribbon strip. So I'm going to leave that Battenberg ribbon strip I would like to do some hand stitching on there to, to keep it closed. So let's let's fold the book the way it's supposed to. I'm working on the back first because the back's going to be plainer. On the back. I know the front I want like, like that folded over. So maybe I'll do the same on the 
on the back. I want to see that. I'm working with what I have, so that's why I am. <laughs> Look at this. A, a pill case. That's where I stick a pill bottle. That's where I stick my <laughs> scissors in there. It works. Okay, so I'm just stick a pinning where I want my pins to be. So that's at a 45 degree angle. Let's pin the other one. Okay. Let's move this guy down. The bottom of that pretzel. The bottom of that pretzel. Back is going to be plainer, so let's just see. I'm just pinching and pinching and pinning, pinch and pin, pinch and pin. And seeing where that lies, I need to pinch and pin some more. So if I was to glue this down and glue that down, let's get one more little pinch. So I have five pinches here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll be turning them down, I think. And when it's pulled and glued, pulled and glued, it will stick out that much. Is that what I want? Let's turn it over and see. Let's do the same thing. Where did I start? Pretty well right underneath that. It'll lay nicer when it's actually glued to the book cover and I'm going to do the same sort of thing one two three four five so one I'm just gathering some up and pinning it and I will be hand stitching this one two I'm trying to work with the pleats that I have and it'll be folded downwards because I just like the way that looks one two three Four. And you see how I don't need a, a closure to tie it shut just yet. I'm just wondering if I should put one there, though. I'm going to move this up. Because the lower one was a little bit too low. And I'm going to top stitch this. So I'm going to use ecru thread, so ivory off white, so you'll be able to see it somewhat. And there's just going to be lines and and X's. On here. Let's see if I did, did it enough. So if this is going to attach at the top. And this is going to be attached. You see how you just you just go in and you re-manipulate it if it isn't sitting the way you like it to. Okay. And it will this Battenberg will be glued down to the black book cover. But I want to do some hand stitching on here and across the back of the spine. So I'm going to do this off camera, my hand stitching, and th that's all I have to do. I'm just going to be layering some other pieces on top of it. And then when I'm finished or happy with my stitching, then I'm going to place this down and I can see that 
it'll be like this and I'm going to apply my same you can use tacky glue what this is what I use and I'm just going to be putting glue all along here making sure it's smeared everywhere I'll use a, a spatula to make sure that the glue is smeared all the way around here and then my sewed piece will be placed on top Pat it down gently. I'm going to line up this bottom ribbon with the bottom of my book, the top with the top of the book, and then angle it down this way. And then it'll be glued to my book and it'll stay glued. I'll have to decide after the fact if I attach anything to tie it up with. I want to sew this. So that's how you sew in the three hole pamphlet stitch with a fabric bit glued to your cover with the fabric bit glued to the inside cover to hold the cover on. I have my little piece that I tend to use all of the time that I'm going to in all my journals now. I just love the way that looks in these printables. And my three three hole, I'm sorry, my three signatures are here. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'm going to go sit down and hand stitch this now. I will do a flip through of the journal when, when it's all done. Bye for now.